This is the micro control pad from Alpha Unlimited. This pad is only around $11 and it's been my main mouse pad for the past 6 months. The 5 pads that we are looking at today are the Speed Control, Mac 1, Panzer, Sonic, and of course, my personal favorite, the micro control. Alpha Unlimited is a local brand here in the Philippines and they're only selling their products inside the country through Shopee and Lazada. But I reached out to them and they said that they have plans to make their items available for the international market but they haven't set a date for that yet. Now, all their pads are rolled up and comes in the back. It takes a while for it to be completely flat the first time you take it out since it was rolled. In the future, I hope that they would make an update with their pads to make the quality a little bit better and have it shipped in a flat box like how artisan pads are. I honestly wouldn't mind a $10 price increase if the quality can be improved. Now for the size, all of these pads are 450 by 400 millimeters. They have an anti-slip rubber base, minimal branding, stitch edges, and they all claim to be suitable for sweaty hands. The first pad that we are looking at today is the Speed Control. This pad is 3 millimeters thick. It is a cloth pad. It has a smooth surface, but it has less control. This is the only pad that is coated and water resistant among the five. This is the first ever pad that I ever tried from Alpha Unlimited. And the cheapest among the five is starting at 450 pesos or $8. It almost felt like the QCK, but a bit slower and with less control. I'm not a fan of it because it feels slower when my sweaty palm gets in contact with the surface. Even though it claims to be suitable for sweaty hands, I don't really prefer this one because I don't feel precise with my aim as with the other pads. But I would totally recommend this over the QCK if you're on a tight budget. The next pad is the micro control. This one is 4mm thick. It is a hybrid pad. It has a rough surface but with good control. My first impression of this pad is it's almost like the Artisan Hien but with more speed. It is starting at 650 pesos or $11.50. It is the most consistent pad for me. I might be biased because I've been playing on this one for more than 6 months now. And it is a quick pad but with a really good stomping power. The micro adjustments in this pad just feels really good and if I can only recommend one pad, this would be the one. The third pad is the MAC 1. This one is 4mm thick. It is a cloth pad with a smooth surface and good control and I think it is the most balanced among the five. This one starts at 500 pesos or $9. I think this one is a control pad and it's good for everything, not just FPS. I have the Pistol Stagger Ice Dots here on my X2 and the stopping power of this pad really helps with the micro adjustments. But if you want less control, let's look at the next two pads. The Panzer. This one is 3.5mm thick. It is made with mesh fabric. It has a somewhat rough surface but with less control. And the product page says that it is the most durable pad starting at 750 pesos or around $13.20. This is a fast pad that offers a bit more control than the next pad that we are looking at and it feels like a faster micro control. It has a very nice feeling texture and like I said earlier, it is somewhat a rough surface the first time I tried it but at the same time, it has a smooth feeling to it. The only downside of this pad is that hair and fur tends to get into the pad because of the weaving. So if you have pads, it's kind of hard to maintain. It's still a very good pad in my opinion. The last pad that we are looking at here is the Sonic. This one is a polyester pad with a very smooth surface and very minimal control. The price of the Sonic starts at 750 pesos or $13.20. It is the fastest pad among the five 
great for pass based shooters like Apex, Overwatch, Call of Duty, and Killer. Now, as a speed pad, it has very low friction or stopping power, and it's hard to make micro adjustments, especially in tax shooters. So, I wouldn't really recommend this one if you play Counter Strike or Valorant, but if you play a lot of fast paced shooters or you just generally want a fast pad, you can definitely try out this one. Now, let's talk about quality. There are only two pads that felt muddy for me. It is going to be the Speed Control and the Mac one. Like I said earlier, I don't really prefer the Speed Control because it doesn't feel precise and it is slower than I would prefer. And for the Mac one, the first time I tried it, my hands were really sweaty and it just felt really slow. And that was when I wasn't using the eSports Tiger Ice Dot on my X2. Every pad here can attract hair, but it can be removed easily. And the only pad that tends to have hair stuck is the Panzer. Now, when it comes to wearing out with the micro control, which I made for six months, I washed this pad for more than eight times now, and I haven't noticed any wearing out yet. It felt the same after every wash. For the other pads, I would assume it would be the same but I'm not sure yet so I will definitely post an update with its durabilities after more use. Now can these pads really compete with Razer, Logitech, Cell Series, and other gaming brands? In my personal experience with the pads, I think they actually can. So if you're in the Philippines as a resident or a gamer touring the country looking around for a budget mouse pad, I will recommend the micro control for overall gaming use if you're fine using a rough surface. But if you prefer a smooth pad, you can go with the Mac 1. Now, to simplify your choices, the Speed Control, Mac 1, and the Sonic are in the smooth category. In terms of speed and control, the slowest one is the Mac 1, the quicker pad is the speed control and the fastest one is the Sonic. The micro control and the Panzer is the two pads with a rough surface and in terms of speed, the Panzer is the faster one and the micro control before that. Now I also tried these pads with a sleeve and in my experience, the pads are not getting dragged. Each of the pad definitely gives different aiming experience. The choice is yours to make if you prefer a slower pad or a faster pad. Do you want more or less friction or control? And as Optimum Text said, Now something else uh, I want to mention here is that all of your mouse pad choices, uh, they matter a lot less as gaming mice become lighter and lighter. So the lighter your mouse is, the less your mouse pad choice really matters. And that just has to do with the weight of the mouse and the amount of friction that's going to be imposed on the surface. So in the end, the choice is yours to make and to deciding what pad to use depends on how light your mouse is. In my opinion, it's balancing the pad of your choice with your aim. If I have a heavy mouse that weighs around 70 grams or more, I would totally go for the fast, low friction pad. And if I have a light mouse around 50 grams, I would like to play with a pad that offers more control. It's just balancing everything in the end. Well, that's it for me. I hope this video helped you decide what to choose among the five pads that Alpha Unlimited offers. I will link the products down below in the description. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Yo, yay is on bleed, what, let's go.